four days later and the wool is perfectly dry. We will now waterproof it. What you need is boiled linseed oil. You need a pan and a brush. Start with 100% linseed oil and then later we will dilute it and do different coats. Pour your linseed oil in a pan, warm it up real slowly on a small fire. Be careful because this is highly flammable. You just need to warm it up a little. Don't forget to wear gloves because it can be irritating to your skin and some people are allergic to boiled linseed oil. Just start brushing it onto your wall. The wall is still very porous so it will soak up a lot of your oil. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> well, almost done. This is how much I have used up for the wall. We'll let this dry and come back next week. Okay, it's now one week later and we're back. It has dried quite well. So we're ready to apply the next coat. See, this is all dry. For the next coat, we will dilute our oil with turpentine. You can do as many coats as you want. I'm going to do three coats. So that's why I'm diluting it uh, with a quarter turpentine. I'm only going to paint the parts that are exposed to the rain, so not the whole wall. The mix is now warm. I'm going to apply this. You will notice that it still gets soaked up quite well. Okay, this part of the wall is finished. I'm also going to paint these parts right here because I sometimes have water running down when I have a really heavy shower, rain shower that is. <laughs> this is done. This time I'm going to clean it off straight away. Let's come back next week for the final coat. It's now time for the final coat. You're going to need 50% of linseed oil and 50% of turpentine. My brush did become uh, solid, but by pressing it on the bottom of the pan in the hot liquid, it's become flexible again. So that's quite nice. <laughs> anyway, let's apply this. Now this is all finished, but the weird thing is that now I'm applying this for the third time. Cracks are appearing, all of a sudden, and that's kind of weird. I didn't expect that. If these cracks remain, it's not going to be waterproof. So uh, I'm going to wait and see if they uh, disappear. I'm going to try and fix these cracks over here. Um, by adding a little bit of cow dung, hopefully I can just fill it up and then waterproof it later on. I'm not sure if this is going to work. I just have to try. Well, we're back and it's all dry. I'm going to try to remove this with a wet brush. Well, that works. Well, one week later, all the cracks are perfectly sealed, actually, so it works. Let's test it out with a little bit of water. That runs straight off. That's perfect. 
All right, thanks for watching. This was repairing your cob wall, uh, filling up cracks and waterproofing it. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching. See you later. Ooh, <laughs> ooh,